Hi guys, it's me, Leo, currently. Okay, so um, I'm sorry to not do a video yesterday. I was sick, but it's okay because you're going to get three videos today. <laughs> okay, first video is actually going to be the Killer Noms. Okay, we're going to start with the live from the house after Nancy's eviction. John feels liberated by being nominated, apparently, but Gemma said later that... John's not really feeling liberated. He's, he's like, nervous now. And, like, the UK public has already smelled the shit, too, so. Housemates keep forgetting to put on their microphones every night this week so far. This past week. Jeremy and Sky T are playing in the pool. Will they get naked? That's That was my thought, because when Austin and James were in the pool, they got naked at least several times. Christina hates the tabloid press, pulling out people's skeletons out of their closet. Well, yeah. Saved housemates, housemates suitcases come out of the storeroom. Tiffany is pissed that she's up for eviction. David wanted to show Stephanie where he put her suitcases, but she wants to put everything back into one of the wardrobes, but David took Stephanie's original wardrobe, I guess. During a live show, Darren has a different feeling than when it's just a regular day in the house. That's what he said. Tiffany feels closer to to everyone when it's like a live eviction show. Tiffany thinks that Darren is avoiding her. Darren thinks he was boring to Tiffany. Darren, Tiffany wants to get past Darren being guarded against her. Tiffany really wanted to know that what John did to Darren. So Gemma explained to her about Darren's past, John's slaughtering of Darren to the public, and John's controlling vibes. Gemma didn't want to nominate Tiffany because since launch night, she viewed Tiffany as an equal and as a friend for life. And, like, her alliance mate with Jonathan. Tiffany is still shocked by Jeremy's nomination. Tiffany can't fight Jeremy because... doesn't want to fight Jeremy because of the nomination. Nobody really... Yeah. Something about people taking offense to the tasks. About Gemma and stuff like that. Okay, let's get to the highlights before Nancy's eviction. Gemma tells John how it is. Gemma told John that he was being the biggest game player in the house. Stephanie is scared about the eviction. She thinks she... She had a gut feeling that she was going to be evicted. And she did not want to be second evicted. John and Darren talk about Gemma's opinion of John's nomination. Gemma overheard the conversation. And... And Gemma's asked John if he's ever battled addiction. And, and John's like, maybe I might have. And I'm just like, bitch, you either have battled addiction and has been in public or not if you're in that celebrity Big Brother house. So shut the fuck up. Okay, the task. Housemates are separated into two teams to se into separate rooms to play a game of guess the housemate. Um, housemates in one room in the live in the living room get a picture of the housemate and then they ask they answer they ask questions to the roommate housemates in the large task room about said guess who picture and then the last person standing is who answered it is like the housemate that the people in the task room think is the picture on shown in the uh, living room. Gemma forgot how to play the task. She doesn't do well in games. She Gemma kept saying, I hate playing games. J games apparently don't excite Gemma at all, and at the end of the task, Daniela's team won. David, David tells Jeremy after the task was over, when they had like a heart-to-heart -heart in the smoking area, that women want to put handcuffs on his testicles. Meaning that, well, handcuffs on testicles means that that guy is another person's property already, so you can't take them. 
Stephanie decided to nominate Daniela purely from what Daniela said to her after the shopping desk about Stephanie getting closer with Jeremy when, while her boyfriend's outside the house because Daniela said something to the lines of, oh, I saw them kiss. I saw Stephanie and Jeremy kiss last night kind of thing. So that's what Stephanie's nominations really pure up purely of. Remember, Angie nominated Christina because she couldn't, because she had a, she couldn't make her damn, just make up her damn mind. Um, Jeremy nominated Tiffany because Jeremy thought that Tiffany is isolating herself from the house and stuff like that, and she, and the bullshit, like, I haven't gotten closer to Tiffany this week kind of shit, which is the biggest bullshit, uh, nomination excuse ever. Gemma nominated John in the best way ever, which was I did not like how you nom how you nominated Darren Day the previous week, and Stephanie nominated Daniela. Nancy is evicted. Angie, Gemma, Jeremy, and Steph need to deliver the Kyla noms for Thursday's eviction. I just didn't know how. Darren is very touched by what Gemma and Stephanie said during during the killer noms. Because it was, like, showing Darren support. Scotty T thinks that Jeremy wasn't being himself for the past four days because he keeps cuddling with Stephanie. Tiffany is not going to forgive Jeremy for the nomination. She wants to be the last person standing in the house. She said, I want to be the last man and woman standing in the house. Megan thinks that John was gutted by the get John out jeer. And then, again, John felt liberated. This is coming straight from the live feed at this point. John is telling the nominated housemates, especially Tiffany, that they should hide refreshments under their beds since they're nominated. Since they're nominated, they're like, fuck it, we're nominated, we're, we're gonna leave pretty soon. Angie keeps trying to sleep, the bedroom is too noisy for her, she decides to sleep on the couch's bed. John called himself the baddest bitch in the house. Okay, let's go down the list of what a bad bitch does. A bad bitch doesn't give any Fs. John gives so many Fs. A bad bitch does whatever they want. John is doing whatever he wants to stay in the game, but I don't think in the real world John does whatever the F he wants. Like that. A bad bitch knows how to turn up. John is such a boring person at a party. He doesn't drink he doesn't turn up at all. A bad bitch knows what she wants. I don't know what John wants. I really don't know what John wants except for what he wants to do with the money. Is to save his mom with dementia or something like that. Or ALS. I forget. So yeah. John is not a bad bitch. I am a bad bitch. I know how to drink. I know how to hold my liquor. Of course I, I look sloppy doing it and I speak in a baby voice when I'm drunk. But at least I know how to drink tequila shots straight up, and I don't need this, the pussy salt or the pussy lime. I know how to drink tequila. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you um, in a couple of minutes, a couple of hours. It depends on when this video gets uploaded, where I talk about Angie wanting to leave the house, <laughs> and, and the fight between Stephanie and Gemma. So see ya!